Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem minimum distance of two given nodes in a binary tree. So basically in this problem, we will be given n nodes. So a total of n nodes will be there inside the binary tree and will be given of value of two nodes. So one of the values would be A and another value would be B. These two nodes will be belonging to the given tree and we have to find that what is the minimum distance between these two nodes inside the tree. So basically we have to find the distance between these nodes inside the tree and the given two nodes are guaranteed to be present inside the binary tree. So it is guaranteed that they will be present and they will be a particular distance that will be an answer. And also one more thing, all the nodes that are there, they will be having unique values inside them. So if suppose that A has been given as two, so there'll be only one node which will be having the value as two. If uh, suppose B has been given as five, so there will be only one node which will be having the value as five. So every node will have a different value, distinct value, you can say, right? Now let us see the first test case here. Suppose that we have one, then we have got two and then we have three. And suppose in this particular case, what we have been given is A is given to us as two and B has been given to us as three, right? So how can we solve it? Let's think in raw term, because if you think uh, about the problem in raw format, you'll be able to build the solution up as well. So if you see here, whenever I'll be at a particular node, so I'll check, uh, is its data equal to uh, A or B? No, definitely for this guy not. So I'll go on the left, okay, and when I go to this particular node 2, then I can say that its value, it's equal to what? It's equal to uh, the A that has been given to us, one of the nodes that has been given to us, so I'll return 1 from here. Okay, because uh, why I'll return 1? Because uh, I'll indicate a distance of 1. For indicating a distance of 1, I'll return 1 from this node. Okay, then after that, I will also uh, call on the right side. And when I call on the right, so accidentally I get what? I get the node B. Uh, so then what I will do is from here also, you'll return 1. Whenever you find, whenever the current route that you are at, if it is having that data, then you will return 1 from there, indicating that you will be traveling a distance of 1 for that node at least, right? So you'll return 1. Now for this particular node, if you see, so from the left also you are getting something that is greater than zero and from the right also you are getting a distance that is greater than zero. So what you have to do is your answer will be nothing but since from the left and the right both you are getting the answer so this means this is the meeting point uh, this is the meeting point right this is the lowest common ancestor of both the nodes. So that is why the answer would be nothing but you can say left plus right. Okay, because uh, in this case, uh, it will be left plus right. Why? Because from the left, you are getting a distance of one. From the right, you're getting a distance of one. So from the left, you're getting a distance. This means on the left, the one of the nodes is fine. And from right also, you're getting a positive distance. This means that on the right also, other node is found. So this means uh, the current root node that you are at, it is the junction, right? Is this the lowest common ancestor where both are meeting? So the answer can be updated left distance plus the right distance and you can see that here the answer would be what uh, you can see that will be nothing but two here right i hope that this particular uh, part is clear now let's discuss about the second test case as well so suppose that we have been given what we have been given let's say something like 11 then we have been given 22 then we have been given what 33 then after 33 we have been given what uh, 44 then let's say 55 then let's say 66 and 77 let me just verify if the second test case looks like this only uh, yeah, and we have been given A as 77 and B as 22. So A has been given as 77 and B has been given as what? 22 here. Right. So if you will see here, guys, what we'll be doing is we'll start iterating. So when I'm at this node, is it is 11 equal to either A or B? No. So I'll call on the left and right both and I'll get some data in return. So when I call on the left, so I call for 22. So is 22 equal to either A or B? Yes, it is equal to B. So from here, I will return one. Okay. And then now for 11, with respect to 11, the left call is over. So I need to call where? I need to call on the right. So for 11, I'll call on the right and I'll call on 33. So is 33 same as A or B? No. So for 33, I'll call on the left. Uh, okay. When I call on the left, so it's not equal, right? So here I will do what? You can say that indirectly I'm returning zero uh, or you can say that it is not found. But when I'll call on the right of it, then I'll get what? Then I will be getting this node A. So then from here, I will return one. Okay. Now, what will happen is, uh, 
77 was there so I, I found it I returned 1 now with respect to 33 the left is 0 but the right exists okay so if either from the left or the right I'm getting a positive distance then I'll say that uh, I'll take that so here uh, you can say that the distance will be 1 and then when I'm going up so I'll increase the distance by 1 more so it will become 2 so if with respect to 11 you can see that the thing is that with respect to 11 from the left I'm getting the data as 1 and from the right I'm getting the data as 2 that is the left data means the left distance as 1 and the right data means for the right node the distance as 2 so basically the total distance would be what the total distance would be 3 uh, between the nodes 22 and 7 and you can see that the answer comes out to be 3 that is how we need to approach this particular problem here okay that if both from the left and the right i'm getting a positive data then my answer would be left plus right if either i'm getting a positive data from the left or from the right then i would take it just like in this case you can see with respect to 33 66 was returning zero but 77 was returning a positive data so i took that so whatever is uh, given if, if whatever positive data i'm if both of them are not positive so whichever is positive i'll take that okay and that is how we can solve this problem recursively and you can understand that firstly i'm doing what i'm calling on the left calling on the right and then i'm processing for the current root so let us try and quickly implement this particular approach that we have thought so far okay so what i will do here is for solving this problem i will first of all declare an answer variable and initially i will mark my answer as what initially i'll mark my answer as nothing but zero then after that i will call the recursive function here okay and in the recursive function i will pass the root of the tree and apart from the root of the tree i will also pass the node a node b and i'll also pass the answer okay because i'll update the answer and after this uh, whatever answer is updated whatever is the minimum distance between the two nodes a and b that i will need to return okay now let us try and do one thing let's try and uh, quickly code the recursive function as well so what i will do is uh, i'll first of all pass the root here okay then after that i will have int a then i'll have int b and then i'll have what int uh, ampersand answer okay because i'll be updating my answer as well what i will do is if my root equal equal to null then what I need to do is uh, if my root is null then I'll say that uh, there will be no distance right so I need to return 0 right otherwise what I need to do is I need to call on the left first so for left I'll call this recursive function and I'll call for roots left okay left child and then I'll pass a b and the answer here and similarly I'll call on the right so right will be equal to what uh, I'll call the recursive function for roots uh, right child and I'll pass a b and the answer now after this is done then what we need to do is we need to check that we get the result from the left and the right that if the uh, if the root data okay if the current root that I'm at if its data is either equal to a or the current root that I am at if its data is equal to b so if it is equal to either a or b then what should i do if it's equal to either a or b then there are a couple of circumstances one of the circumstances is that if the left is zero and the right is also zero so this means that this is the first node that i have found so i need to return one okay if suppose that i have a scenario like this okay suppose that what i have is uh, if i have a tree let's say whereby i'm having something like one then i'm having two uh okay then I'm having 3, then I'm having 4, then I'm having 5, then I'm having 6, then I'm having 7. Let's say I'm having 8 here. Okay, and let's suppose A has been given as 8 and B has been given as 2, suppose. Okay, so uh, like right now what will happen here is, uh, let's say I have got uh, 9 and 10 here, right? So with respect to this, you will get 0 for 8, you will get 0 from uh, here, uh, from the left as well as from the right. Okay, now what will happen here is, since you see that from the left and right, both you are getting 0, so you'll return 1 here right now after this uh, with respect to 3 from the left you will be getting 0 but from the right you're getting an answer so you'll return what you will return this thing that is 2 here right now after that uh, you get this node 2 the moment you get this particular node 2 right so then you can see that with respect to this node 2 the left would be returning a distance the left would be returning what the left would be returning 2 because the distance between 2 and 8 is 2 right and the right would be returning 0 so if it happens that uh, uh, after getting the values from the left and the right uh, okay if the current root that you are at if it is equal to either a or b then what you should do is i like if left exists if left is a positive value that would be your answer or if the right is a positive value that would be your answer this you can see because they can lie in the same branch only right so this kind of thing can also happen so that is why uh, we need to uh, implement this thing inside the code as well okay 
I hope that everyone has understood this. So what you need to do is uh, else if you need to say that uh, what happens is if the left is greater than zero. Okay, then you will say that uh, uh, your answer, if the left is greater than zero means that uh, the other node has been found on the left. Uh, okay, and then you'll update the answer as left distance. Okay, otherwise uh, in the else case, you can say that else if the right uh, distance is greater than zero. This means that the other node has been found on the right and uh, like uh, suppose that B node is on the right. Okay, and A node is here. So uh, from the right side, you're getting a distance. So this means uh, that would be the actual distance, the right distance that is returned, that would be the actual distance between the nodes. So you'll update the answer as right here. Okay, now once this has been done, so uh, otherwise what can be the circumstances? Otherwise the circumstance can be that if suppose that the current node that I'm at, if it is not equal to uh, A or B. So if it is not equal to A or B, then there can be a couple of circumstances. Either it can happen that both the left is greater than zero and the right is greater than zero. This means that uh, the node has been found on, from the left side as well as the right side and the current root point is the meeting point. So I'll update the answer as what guys? I'll update the answer as right distance plus left distance as I had discussed in the dry run else if what I need to do is I need to say that if the left is uh, greater than zero if the left if from the left I'm getting a certain distance so since I will be returning the distance upward so I need to ret return what I need to return the data as left plus one okay and similarly for the else part uh, else if uh, what happens is if the suppose that the right was zero instead okay if the right was zero uh, like greater than zero instead if it was positive then i will return what then i will return right plus one here okay so this is how we need to solve it and in the else case you might return a zero let's say okay so i hope that all the bases are covered let's not try and compile this code and check if it is working fine so basically in this problem you have to think about a lot of edge cases and basics right okay the compiler is taking a bit of time it works on the samples uh, let's try and submit it if it doesn't get accepted then we'll try to see what are the mistakes but i hope it should get accepted so bingo, you can see that our code is able to pass all the test cases that were there. And for solving this problem, we have done what? We have only iterated throughout all the nodes. So the time complexity would be order of n in the worst case and the space complexity would also be order of n because of the recursive stack space taken. And this problem previously has been asked in companies like Microsoft, LinkedIn and Amazon. So I hope that you enjoyed the explanation of this problem. In case if you did, make sure to hit the like button and comment down plus one in the chat. Thank you guys and keep coding.